Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Quinton here and welcome to tutorial number 29. And in this tutorial, I am going to show you guys how to make rounded corners using CSS3. Now I just want to mention that rounded corners are new to CSS3. So if you're using an outdated browser, then uh, something like Internet Explorer 8 or something like that probably isn't going to support these uh, rounded corners but as long as your browser is up to date then this should work okay so if it doesn't work just go ahead and update your browser and the rounded corners will display okay now to save time uh, what I've done is I've created a div on my web page and I've given that a class of rounded box and I've just written uh, the word apples inside of that div okay and then I went ahead and I gave it some styling as well so I selected it by class um, which I've shown you guys how to do this before and I gave it a background color of orange I gave it a width of 200 pixels I uh, set the text to be in the center and then I just gave it a padding of 50 pixels on the top and 50 pixels on the bottom and then padding of 0 pixels on the right and 0 pixels on the uh, left and this is basically um, the output so we get the word apples in a big orange box okay now let's go ahead and actually use CSS to uh, round off these corners because right now they're pretty sharp okay so all you have to do is go ahead and say border radius just like that so border hyphen radius and then you'll go ahead and put in a value so I'm gonna go ahead and just put in a value of 5 pixels and this is gonna be very subtle um, you might not even be able to see this on my screen recorder or on YouTube but if I click refresh you can see that the corners change from being really sharp to um, a little bit rounded and if I went ahead and I just made this a lot bigger so let's go ahead and say something like 50 pixels uh, you'll be able to see this a lot uh, more clearly so if I go ahead now and click refresh you can see now the corner has really been rounded uh, by quite a lot of space okay so that's basically how to round all of the corners uh, but what happens if you decided, well, hey, I'd really like only this corner to be rounded and then the rest of them to be sharp? Well, then you can round only the top left uh, by doing it this way. So um, let's go ahead and just get rid of this. And what we're actually going to have to do here is type in border, top, left, radius so that is going to um, round off the top left corner and we'll set that equal to 50 pixels and we'll leave the rest okay so now when we go over to Firefox and click refresh we've only rounded the top left corner of our um, box and again if I wanted to do this to the top right corner then I could just change the word right uh, or the word left to right and if I go ahead now and click refresh then I've only rounded the right corner and if I wanted to do the bottom corners then I'd go ahead and just change bottom uh, so I change top to bottom and we'd have uh, border bottom right radius and I didn't save that so let me just go ahead and click save come back here click refresh and now we've rounded only the bottom right and again if I wanted to change this to the bottom left then I just change the word right to left and when I go ahead and click refresh then I've changed uh, the bottom left radius as well okay so this does work in most browsers now but if you want to make make this kind of um, work in some older versions of Firefox or some o some older versions of Chrome then they used to actually do something or used to use something called a WebKit 
So Chrome used to use WebKit uh, border radius, and that would make the uh, rounded border appear rounded in an older version of Chrome. Okay, but like I said, the newer version actually supports it without the WebKit, so you can go ahead and do that, and it'll work in the new version of Chrome just fine. But if you're using an older version of Chrome, go ahead and just include that word WebKit. And I think that handles Safari as well. And then if you wanted to make this work in an older version of um, Firefox, then you'd have to include Moz. But then I think uh, some of this stuff actually has to change as well. So it would have to be bottom right radius. I, I can't remember. But that's just if it's, uh, if it's really old, you can make use of um, those web kits or those renderers uh, just like that. But like I said, this uh, standard version like this should work in most of the new browsers nowadays. So that's actually all I have for you guys in this video. And thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Please feel free to leave a comment, like or share the video. It's really going to help my channel grow. And I will see you guys next time.